Welcome to the NWR Aussie Resources Conference. Next up, we have Midas Minerals presented by Mark Coldwood. He is the Managing Director. Now, Midas listed, uh, I think it was just over a year ago. They've got lithium, gold, base metals, PGE, drill ready targets. Exciting time for the company. ASX code is MM1. Mark, over to you. T tell us what's happening with Midas. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, Gary. Thanks for the introduction. Um, for those who don't know, Midas has been uh, listed for about a year. Um, we listed on actually in September last year, so it's just just over a year. Um, I guess the highlights for the, the the investment highlights for the company are, are pretty straightforward. We've got three significant projects, and in the Yilgarn, we've got some other ones as well in the Yilgarn, but the three main projects uh, are Newington Lithium. Lithium is the main focus there. We have uh, um, platinoids on the Chella project, and we have gold and nickel on the Weibo project uh, up near Linster. Uh, I guess a key for this company is it's it's the board and it's and and the team. It's track record, um, very strong board um, mix of experience, um, and very deep deep history in in all those metals: lithium, gold, base metals, um, nickel, etc. So that's a key for the company. And the company's structure, very tight, uh, very low EV of about nine and a half million dollars. We've got good cash and and not many shares on issue. So I'll, I'll, I'll recap on that at the end, but that's a bit of, a little bit of an introduction to the company. The projects, as I mentioned, were in, uh, in the Yilgar and Craton. Newington is probably the lead project. It's located uh, about 100 k's north of Southern Cross. It's in the same belt as um, the Mount Holland and lithium deposit. We we have uh, lithium pegmatites on the Newington project. I'll cover those off a little bit more uh, as we as we go through this project, uh, this presentation. Weibo is a is a gold and nickel project right up in in the uh, heart of the nickel and gold areas around Linster, and Chala is an interesting project. It's sitting on one of the world's largest uh, layered uh, intrusive complexes. And has a very large um, untested um, PGE anomaly. That's a that's a massive uh, tenement up there too, nearly nine hundred square yeah, kilometers. Yeah, correct. Um, two of them are approved at the moment. Uh, very large area. It's a very very big complex. It's probably five hundred times bigger than the Julemar intrusive complex. So it's very very large. One of the biggest in the world. Wow. Uh, the board, good mix of experience. Um, myself, I, I, I go back a uh, fair way in lithium and in gold. I was CEO of Perseus and took that from a, a micro cap. I think we only had a 9 million market cap as well at one stage. And we took that up to 1.6 billion as an ASX 100 company. Uh, Mick is a geologist with good experience. Mike Naylor, you will, many of you will know him from various successful ventures. And Sarah Kelly is our, our chair. She's very good at, um, for rounding out the board for us in terms of experience and with her legal background, et cetera. A very strong board, uh, lots of experience, able to do deals, able to, um, to, to bring mines into production and, and uh, deep, deep exploration and uh, background and success. I guess so that's, that's key. A key asset of the company is actually the people we have just put on a recently put on a good geo. So, um, you know, the, the company is really coming together nicely at the moment. As I mentioned, low market cap, low EV, very tightly held. Um, management board has about 11.2% of the company. Uh, top, top 50, uh, top 20 on top of that has 47.7% has of the company. About 50% of the company are held by industry uh, knowledgeable industry people, whether they're um, geologists, brokers, um, ex experienced investors. So very, very um, supportive shareholding base. We did have a lot of shareholders when we listed because of our background. We were spun out of another company back in uh, uh, 2018. Now we're, we're back down to lower than less than 200 shareholders. That that top oh. top 20 shareholding has increased a little bit over the last quarter. So they are continuing to continuing to soak up stock when they can get it. But quite a quite a nice company structure, not many shares on issue. We've been pretty active, but I guess 
what I'm trying to highlight here is that really since uh, June, we've become um, consolidated our projects and uh, I've come on full time uh, on since June. So whereas a, we're only one year old, so your first six months, we, we got a fair bit of work done, but I guess okay. it's, it's we're really kicking into gear now with the Newington project. Uh, we've still got the gold projects Weibo. We do. We've just done got some good results off that. We've got some nice uh, geophysics to follow up, and Chala's starting to to pro pro progress as well. So it's it's taken us that nine months to kick into gear, and now we're um, we're firing. Uh, we've just finished a, a large drilling program on on Newington, sixty three holes, all the samples in the lab. Uh, we just picked up another project, Seabrook. Uh, which is another lithium project. We don't talk about that one much. But if we get some results, we'll that'll that'll climb up the ladder and and join the the ranks of the the main projects. A bit more on Newington. We've we've only really signed that up in the last uh, month and a half, uh, two months. Uh, we took an option over it. We exercised the option at the end of end of uh, in early July. Um, we've been mapping rock chip sampling, got some strong lithium numbers out of that project already. It's a quite a large area of pegmatites. Hundreds have been found already. Um, we've still got guys out there mapping. Uh, we've just decided to do some initial drilling, uh, just to get a feel for the variation of the pegmatites. And, and we've, 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 the, um, just recently announced that that program's been completed. The samples are in the lab. We'll get initial results back, um, but quite favourable. You know, there, there, there's definitely LCT, what they call lithium, cesium, tantalite, tantalum bearing pegmatites, and we have lithium variety of the LCT. We know we have them. It's just a matter of now zoning in um, on the main area of interest. So that one project, the, the one prospect, the Kiwana, is, is over 11 kilometres long and growing all the time. So wow. it, it's it's a very large um, target area. I think this, the northern end of that zone, the, th the upper three, three, four, five kilometres, will be the most interesting as we move forward. But the, the drilling will give us some inf information on where we should be focusing our efforts. Uh, so, and that 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 Kiwana is only one of two two areas on that project. We've got to have another one to the south. We haven't done much work on yet, uh, but we will get around to to doing more on that. It's a stretched stretch for for resources at the moment in terms of people so this this project's got a lot more uh, news to give and uh and, and, and uh, we'll be watching in the next couple of months of with the results we are we, we have in the lab samples we have, have in the lab mark how did you get your hands on that particular project it was held by discovex and and they were looking for gold on the project it's got gold potential it's got some reasonable gold hits but it's limited, I believe, the gold potential. Uh, they looked at divesting. We looked at it. We recognised the lithium potential. Uh, we took some samples, and sure enough, we 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 picked up some good lithium values. So we saw this as a as a, a, a quite an interesting project from the lithium perspective, and that's what. Uh, and uh, we did a deal. They gave them two point six million shares and and a little bit of cash. So we didn't we didn't pay big dollars for our projects, any of our projects for that matter. Uh, we don't. We believe in spending money in the ground, and that's what we're going to do on this. No, oh, um, The project's got the right geological setting. It's got the the late stage granites. It's got hundreds and hundreds of pegmatites. We we know some of them are LCT pegmatites. Um, so it's, and the pegmatites. The main thing about we so far we know about drilling is the pegmatites are fairly decent size. So they're anywhere think from be, between ten and thirty, up to forty meter wide pegmatites, flat dipping. Uh, so they've got the scale. We know the project's got the scale. It's just a matter of tracking down is there um, lithium, enough lithium there? Uh, and that's what we'll find out over the coming months. Weibo. Weibo is one of the projects we had when we listed. Uh, it's it's mainly gold project, but we've got some pretty interesting nickel, nickel anomalies and geophysical anomalies to follow up on. Um, uh, we've got some good drill results late last year and mid this year from from uh, Air Corps and RC drilling. It's located to just north of Thunderbox. It's, it's between Thunderbox and Aurelia. 
It's in the right area. It's west of Darlow. So it's in, the, it's in the elephant country in terms of gold. And it's also in elephant country in terms of nickel. It's just north of the uh, Waterloo nickel deposit and east of the, the, the massive Linster deposit. So we're looking for both gold and nickel on that project. Um, that one is an option. We don't own it yet. So for 600,000, we can, we can exercise that option at any time we want up till uh, uh, January 25. So we've got plenty of time to work on it, work it up. Uh, if there's a deposit there, it's something that our neighbours could be interested in because they're going to truck truck ore from Aurelia down to Thunderbox. Thunderbox is now uh, is going to be a six million ton per annum milling operation, very large. I think it's going to be one of the biggest for uh, Northern Star, so I'm sure it'll be hungry from time to time, and that's something we'll look at as as the project progresses. Um, I think I've covered off the respiration strategy. Um, but we, we want to test the next next stage of test some some um, gold anomalies and workings that have never been drilled, and also test some of these strong EM anomalies that we're getting over nickel targets. Uh, so that's that's the next aim of the next program for for Weibo. Ella's quite an interesting one as we were talking about earlier. Very large layered complex, got potential for nickel in that area. Recently, there's been recent discoveries of nickel copper. Um, we've tied up the, the Wandagong platinum anomaly. We only we only owe, we own only controlled about 75% of that. Now we control the whole lot. It's about 17 kilometers long. Uh, there's some good rock chips there, up to 3.45 grams per ton, four PGEs, and and a lot of strong geochemistry. Uh, we're still waiting on a bunch of assays, but we've seen some already. We've announced some already. The strong strong geochemical signatures through there and some very good VTEM anomalies from a program we flew uh, last December. Um, again, we, we, we're geochemming around the VTEM anomaly, so we can we can rank those a bit better, but quite nice. There's no sh black shales in that area. So when you get when you get these VTEM anomalies, they probably represent sulfides of some sort. So we just don't know what yet. So that's an interesting one from a platinoids nickel nickel copper point of view. Um, pipeline of exploration news flow, quite strong um, as with Newington, with the assays coming through and work, ongoing work. Weibo will come out with the, some more information on the EM anomalies soon and plan our, our drilling uh, and hopefully get that underway in the next couple of months. Um, and then there's a whole lot of pre-drill targets being worked up at the moment on, on, on the three main projects. Um, so all of those will work their way through. I hope to be drilling at Chalo in the new year. I think uh, we won't rush into that. We'll wait till we get all the geochemistry infill done first. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of focus on Newington and then Weibo at the moment. And we're looking at bringing more projects on. As I mentioned, we've got that the Seabook project and, and we pick, picked up some of the applied for some tenements and other areas as well. So we'll keep working, systematically working these projects through. Um, and uh, with the aim of uh, getting them up to drill ready and keep that pipeline of drill results coming through. So circling around, focusing on what, why is Midas a good uh, investment? Well, we've got good solid projects in WA, in the Yulgarn, we've got um, solid lithium, gold, uh, PG, nickel, copper targets. We've got results. We've been act very active. We've got results pending uh, on three, all three projects actually, at the moment, and and they'll be feeding through. And the projects, you know, we we spent that last. We spent our first nine months getting ourselves, getting the news flow um, or the exploration modelling progressed, and you'll see that crystallise over the coming months. Very strong team, uh, a lot of experience. With big discovery background, um, I've got very strong experience in lithium as well as gold. Um, so solid and 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 solid experience in acquisition, yeah, as well as the exploration, but also finance, production, corporate governance, a really strong board. Um, and I guess the capital structure is very very appealing. So it's it's uh, with a low EV of uh, less than nine around about nine and a half million dollars. It's a come and very few shares on issue. Um, 
it's a company that will 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 go places uh, on a discovery. Um, that's that's the that's the um, presentation. That's part of the story. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Now I've I've said it before. I'll say again. If you want to ask questions, Mark's on the call right now. So this is your time to to get in touch and to ask him questions. And while you're all asleep and not asking questions, I will. Um, Mark, you were with Perseus. Uh, that became a massive uh, project. Are you looking, I guess, with the projects that you've currently got, are you looking for the big elephants or are you happy to, to, to potentially bring into uh, a development a smaller project? Yeah, for, so for scale, scale is always, the, always my preference. Um, with the lithium, you don't need scale now to make good money. Um, okay. So it wouldn't have to be a world-class project for lithium. Um, and for gold, well, you know, if, if, if it's a smaller deposit, it's something you'll probably sell on to one of your neighbours, something like that. But I always look, like to look for scale. I think that's where the prize is. Um, and uh, so that's, that's always the focus is, is, is there scale first? and then work out what you do from there if there isn't. Uh, all of your projects at the moment are in the Yulgarn. Why is that attractive um, for you at the moment, Mark? Do you think that that's underexplored? Do you think that there's, obviously you do, because you've got your projects there, mm. but what's attracted the Yulgarn? Well, it, it, it's just that it's good to have your projects within a short distance of each other. So when okay. we floated the company, everything was in 300 kilometres of each other. It's it's it does save you. It's a lot less expensive if you can keep them in the same general region, um, and you can skip from one to the other fairly easily. I think the Yulgarn is still obviously world class. It's it's world class for lithium, uh, as well as the you know the golds, the nickels, etc. It would it wouldn't preclude me from going to other areas, but for for that first at least that first year of the company, I thought let's keep it together. I don't want to be up in the Kimberley or the Northern Territory and we have one in Queensland and one in New South Wales. It's 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 hard enough anyway, uh, yeah, getting yeah. geos and, and teams together without um, being too spread thin. Not Having said that, it wouldn't stop me from stepping out now that we're over a year old. And look, to me, looking at those three projects, they seem to, but that, that would keep you pretty busy. But you did make mention that you wouldn't be averse to looking at other projects. Really? Don't no, you have definitely not. Call? No, we're, we're used to, um, that's a bit, I have a history of being able to do deals and do deals at, at reasonable prices, and I will continue to do that. So we, we will flick projects. If the projects are not worth the uh, effort, then we're, um, if, if we don't see big things there or, or things that could be economic relatively in a, in a relatively short period, then we will get rid of projects and we'll add projects in. So we won't, we won't dwell on projects. Got we won't it. fall in love with the project. We will test them and move on if they're not if they're not up to scratch. But we'll keep adding. We've got capacity to take on um, more exploration projects, um, and so we will. What does Mark Calderwood think of the uh, current lithium market? Do you think that there's still because there's there's some people out there saying you know it's 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 overheated and uh, it, it's going to come back. I have a different view. But I'd love your view on on where you know you've got lithium and gold. I love gold, always have. But what what's your view on the lithium market going forward? Well, I, I think this is the what the third lithium boom in this, in a sense. I think this is the main one now. Uh, I think the, the everyone knows where we're headed now in terms of uh, twenty thirty targets, etc. Like um, the, the individual lithium hydroxide and carbonate prices are probably too high at the moment. But projects are not so easy to find, and and I think from a from a mining point of view, um, lithium will be remain one of the more profitable industries, um, and and there's that need to have uh, lithium source from a combination of countries, including Australia. Australia is a politically safe, reliable yeah. supplier of product, and that's what these people need. Uh, they can't rely on too much coming out of South America or too much coming out of China. They need a, a spread of supply. And I think uh, lithium is is here to stay this time, and uh, uh, yeah, we get some movement in the in in your price of commodity prices. But as far as the lithium producers go, they'll be they'll be fine um, going forward. I mean, as, as you know, the two lithium producers in Australia, uh, WA, that just um, had more profit 
last quarter than all the okay. gold mine, mining companies combined. Oh, so, don't, don't depress me, Mark. You know I love gold. <laughs> uh, but, you know, so I think the price, individual prices are, of the commodities are probably a little bit high, but, you know, it's going to stay moderately strong, I think, for some years as, as, as the world shifts, gets its act together on, in terms of um, electric cars. Well, it's it's certainly interesting. It's it's fabulous how far you've come along from listing just a year ago. Three very strong projects, and it shows in uh, in the share structure. Fifty percent owned by board and management. So and and the top twenty. So well done. Congratulations. Keep going, and we look forward to an update in the near future. For now, thanks for joining us at the uh, NWR Aussie Resources Conference, Mark. Thanks, Gary. Anytime.